Hello, friends, and happy Lent. I hope your turning away from sin and being faithful to the gospel is going well. So far, so good for me, and I pray the same for you. Great turnout this past Saturday night for our uh, marriage enrichment night. Grateful to 20-some couples for coming out and the couples that put it together. Really, really a wonderful, wonderful experience. And uh, we're going to do another one in May, so look forward to walking with couples. Pope John Paul II said the future of society passes through the family. And family life is certainly established on strong marriages. So we want to do everything we can at St. Cecilia's to help married couples at every stage uh, because your marriage is so important uh, to the church and to the world. Great turnout for Ash Wednesday. Thank you for all those who made that possible. Beautiful music, greeters, readers, uh, folks who went to the hospitals. Thank you so much uh, for helping people have that beautiful celebration. And please, God, we'll see many of those folks back in the weeks to come as well. For Lent, I remind you, Thursday night's a 6.30 Mass, uh, so another opportunity to gather and worship. Friday nights, we got the Stations of the Cross at 7 o'clock each Friday of Lent. And then at the um, uh, next week, next Wednesday, we'll start Bible study. So 120 or so people already signed up. Please join us. Free child care available for that as well. As we look forward to this weekend, uh, the Coffee Talk, our grief support group, is being postponed because of some snow that's predicted for Saturday morning. Uh, so we want to let you know about that. And then um, on the weekend, Sunday at 9.30, we're going to send a group of seven men who have been preparing to receive Easter sacraments uh, will be with us at the 9.30 Mass. And they'll be sending them off. They'll be going to the cathedral with Father Fong and Deacon Pat and, and Deacon Bill and, and, and George Warren and our team uh, to be presented to Archbishop Perez. So we're really grateful for, for folks coming into the church and look forward to that number growing uh, as, as we seek to strengthen folks in their, in their walk with the Lord. Uh, folks, Lent is, is a time for spiritual renewal, and, and that's what I desire as pastor. We'll certainly talk about that this weekend at all the masses with the, with the scriptures, but please come up with a plan, right? Even if it's uh, day two, day three here, uh, come up with a plan because God certainly wants to bless you. If you can't join us for daily mass or Bible study or stations, do something at home. Open the scriptures, open a book, pick up the rosary, right? Focus on repenting from a sin growing as a disciple and aware of the Lord. We will have a wonderful opportunity, and I'm sorry we haven't gotten more word about this, it's my fault, but February 26th and 27th, we're gonna do a, just a little mini parish mission, parish retreat uh, with John Newman and Catherine Drexel. Uh, seven o'clock Monday night, seven o'clock Tuesday night, just an hour. We're gonna share about John Newman and his love for the Eucharist and Catherine Drexel and her love for the Eucharist as we continue in this time of Eucharistic revival. A little bit of a talk, a little bit of prayer uh, and, and time to think. So a little mini retreat of sorts for us on our Lenten journey. So sorry the notice is getting to you kind of late, but hopefully you're still able to join us and be here. Thanks so much. Uh, let's continue to pray for each other and, and raise up all those who are suffering throughout the world and, and here in our own city and in our own families. May God have mercy on us all.